Hey guys, Jordy here from Premiere Basics and already released a brand new camera. It's awesome, but it's gonna cost you a kidney. That's because of the color science behind this camera. Well, today I'm gonna show you how to make your videos look like they were shot on that Ari camera. Now, obviously it's impossible to completely recreate the look of an $80,000 camera, but we can get really close. So let's open up Premiere Pro. To recreate this look, we're going to use a plugin called CineMatch created by Film Convert. Big thanks to them for sponsoring this video. Now don't worry, I'm also going to show you guys how to do this in Lumetri. Now this plugin is made to give your video a look from a different camera or to match different cameras together. You can transform your camera to look like another using the unique sensor match technology this plugin provides. They created raw light control so it looks like your footage is actually shot on that specific camera. They profiled cameras to gather information about its sensor, meaning that the controls are tailored to the specific camera that you shoot on. More about that further in the video. First, I'm going to show you how to do it in Lumetri. Here we have a clip of me standing outside. Let's open up the Lumetri panel by going to the window and clicking on Lumetri color. If you're shooting in lock, then first select your Rec 709 LUT from here. If you aren't shooting in lock, you can skip this step. Rename this Lumetri effect to LUT or something else. You know, stay organized. From the drop down menu on the top of the Lumetri panel, you can create a new Lumetri effect. Let's do that and drag that above the Lumetri LUT effect that we created previously. And this way we have more control of our color correction because the effect is applied to the original clip instead of to the Lumetri with the LUT applied. Now rename this Lumetri effect to RED because that's what we're going to work on in a second. The thing that makes the RE look so incredible is the highlight roll off curve. This makes your image highlights look really smooth. Now to the create this, go to curves and create this little roll off curve like this. We're essentially pushing down the highlights a little bit. So Ari cameras are known for their awesome color signs, natural colors. Ari's color reproduction is the closest to real life colors. Most other cameras have trouble with red and green. For instance, my t-shirt is popping out a little bit too much. To fix that, go to the HSL secondary and click on the color selector, then click on the t-shirt. If needed, adjust your color selection. Now play around with the feather and there we go. Let's pull down the exposure slider to make the color deeper. And I'm going to add a little bit of cyan, the opposite of red, to desaturate my shirt. The GH5 has too much magenta, so I'm going to lean a bit more towards the green to counter that. And look at that. Now this looks like a natural t-shirt. Cool. Next, open up another Lumetri effect and call it green, because now we're going to make the greens in this video look more natural. Again, drag it above the Lumetri LUT. Head over to the HSL secondary and select greens in your video. Again, if needed, adjust your color selection. Feather the HSL just like we did with my t-shirt and turn down the saturation. Add a little bit of yellow using the color wheel to make the green look a little bit warmer or less radioactive. And finally, we have to fix the sky. Create another Lumetri effect and call it sky. Now to fix the sky, go back to HSL secondary. Select the blue of the sky and feather it. We have our selection. Next, pull down the exposure slider again, making that blue a bit more deeper. That looks amazing, but what if there is a much faster and easier way? Well, there is, and it's called CineMatch, and I've already got it installed, so I can just find it back in my effects library and drag it to my video clip. Now let's see what this baby can do. First of all, select the camera you shot your clip with, which is the Lumix GH5 in our case. We shot our video in lock, so I have to select the V-Lock profile. Next, choose your target camera, which is gonna be the Ari. If you shot your video in lock, apply the Rec. 709 transform and Boom, it's that easy. Now your GH5 video has the same look as that $80,000 Ari Alexa, and I still have both of my kidneys. But that's not the only thing that this plugin does. Apart from getting the right colors, it also helps you perform color corrections. You know, the exposure in this shot is still off. Enable the false color checkbox and select skin tones from the drop down menu. Adjust the exposure until the skin tones are highlighted in orange. This is a super fast and useful tool. We could do it in Lumetri as well, but that's gonna take a whole lot more steps. Go to window and open up the Lumetri scopes. Right click and make sure that the waveform is enabled. And right click again and in the waveform type menu, click on Luma. Now head over to the effects controls and locate the opacity and click on the pencil and draw a mask on the skin of your subject, which is me. Next, go to your Lumetri effect and adjust the exposure until the highlights reach approximately 70%. You can now delete the mask. Your skin tones are now correctly exposed. That's good news. Spend over 
we're done with correcting our image, we can color grade it. We're gonna look for things that we personally wanna change, like changing the sky, for instance. I found this picture online and instantly fell in love with the color of the sky. Now, to get the same type of sky or look in your video, navigate to Match Refinements in the Cine Match plugin and select your sky color with the Source Selector. Then, using the Target Selector, click on the sky color of the other picture. And there we go, you now transformed the sky color to your video. Awesome. To do the same thing in Lumetri, drag the image of the sky next to your video clip. From within the Lumetri panel, you can find the color wheels and there should be a button called Enable Comparison View. Clicking on that will show both the videos in your program monitor. With the playhead on the left-hand side, you can navigate to that picture so that you can see it on the left side and your video from which you want to change the sky on the right. In the HSL secondary section, we can use the controls below to match the sky with the photo seen in the comparison view. And by the way, you can also change your comparison view to a split screen with these buttons down here. In this case, we need to add a little bit more green cyan to the sky. That looks amazing. All right, let's go back to scene match because there's one last thing that I show you guys. To further grade our clips, we also have the color wheels, which we can use to change the shadows, midtones, and highlights. This plugin also comes with the RGB curves, which you can use to add more adjustments to your videos. You can also change, for example, the midtones from within the level controls, something that we don't have in Lumetri. So this plugin is a full color management system into Premiere Pro, which has everything you need to correct or grade your videos. And it can also be paired with Film Converts Nitrate to get the look of film. You can add real film color and grain to your image and it's fully customizable. To wrap things up, let's see if you can spot the difference. Behold four shots from four different cameras. One of them is shot on the red Gemini, a super expensive Hollywood camera as well. The other three clips are shot on the GH5, the Sony, and an iPhone. We matched all cameras cameras to the red with Cinematch. And now you have to search for which one of these clips is actually shot on the red camera. I'll, I'll give you a second, guys. All right. This right here is the red footage and these are the other cameras. Let me know in the comments down below, guys, if you got that right and be honest. Now check out the link down below, guys, for all the information about Film Convert Cine Match. You can actually get 10% off if you use that exclusive link. So go click on it, guys, and check it out. Lad. It's really cool. All right, thanks for watching. And as always, stay creative. Now check out the video here on my left for more. That one is pretty cool as well. And over there is the subscribe button if you want to see us every single week. All right, take care, goodbye, wash your hands. <laughs> I keep saying that every week now. <laughs> goodbye.